here we are fishing friends we're out me and wingman are out on a little mission tonight and yes i've been in the old uh, experiment tank again and okay pop-up rigs you know i'm a i'm a bit of a pop-up freak um i wouldn't say i definitely haven't invented the pop-up rig okay that's been done a long time ago but i do consider myself a bit of a pioneer with these pop-ups because i've developed them myself you know i've trialed them myself i've caught fish on them myself and now, you know, the customers that buy these rigs in my shop, they're catching nice fish on them too. Uh, just last week, there was a nine pound two bass caught on a pop-up rig, just, just a simple running ledger pop-up like that, the, the XXL pop-up in my shop. Nine pound two bass, opportunist angler, seen a big bass, like, you know, skirting around, and he just flicked out this, and he, he thought, hang on, I've got a pop-up rig in there, I'll put one of Bassman's rigs on. And his brother said to him, go on, put, put one of these rigs on, a big bit of squid. Anyway, he did that, logged it out, five minutes later, whack, he, nine pound two. He was absolutely over the moon. Uh, big Sean, the taxi driver, he came in my shop, uh, well, he comes in my shop quite a lot. And he bought, he's, he's bought the small pop-ups, the medium pop-ups, all of them. And he was in the flounder comp last week up at Kingsbridge, and he got third place. Now, there was only a few fish weighed in, right? Uh, they were getting crabbed off to death. They went through so much worm. And one of the lads said, stick one of Bassman's little pop-ups on, trying to get rid of the crabs. And he did that. He'd never caught a flounder before. Five minutes later, bang. He, he pulls in a one pound, <laughs> I don't know, one pound eight, one pound 10. Not a big fish, but it doesn't matter. He was third in that competition because of that pop-up, right? And that's the only reason he was third because that was a, above the crab, okay? So this is my latest little invention. It's a pulley rig. It's not just a pulley rig, but it's a pulley pop-up rig. So there you go, pulley pop-up. So I've got a nice wide, very wide gate. Uh, it's a Tamas 6 hook there. Uh, you know, a nice imp clip at the bottom. And you, you can see I've shaved the, the uh, pop-ups, the big flat and pop-ups down. So why have I done that? Well, not because I want less buoyancy. It just makes it so that it makes it a little bit easier to wrap, wrap around. So when we're using squid or cuttlefish, uh, I've discovered that doing that, just leveling them off, we can put like a little channel of crab cart on that and it gives us a nice little flat base to work on. And then we can obviously incorporate the squid or, or the cut or what, whatever you're using, like, you know? So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you uh, tonight. So uh, it's the first time I've used it and I'm gonna put a nice cuttlefish pop-up on there. I got some really mega fresh uh, cuttlefish yesterday from Ricky Down in Plymouth. So yeah, we're gonna trial this tonight and obviously I've got the little Sea Glow Ultra Lumi on there. If I just, if I, you stay there, Brett, if I just use your light there a second. I'm sure you can see, can you see that? You see it glowing in the back there, look? You try and get the light off it a little bit. There you go. There you go, look. So that, you know, these Sea Glow beads are the best on the market, right? I've been selling them for over a year in my shop. They sell out all the time. Uh, you know, they're not just a gimmick. They actually do, they actually do work, you know? And for species like whiting, if you put one of those on there, can flick out a bit of mackerel, you can more or less count to a minute and you, you've got a bite, do you know what I mean? Um, can I point out a little tip, Paul? Yeah. Can we uh, tell, tell the viewers how to thread one on? Of, how to what? How to thread one of the sea glow beads on. Yeah, 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 look. All it is, you know, let's unclip this. Let's take it out of the clip. And all they are, they're, they're solid silicon beads, right? I'll just take it off. I don't really like doing that, but now Brett's uh, raised the question. Right, so there you go, look. So all it is is a little, it's little beads like that. There's no holes in them. So that, that means you have to make your own hole. And you know, it's so simple. All you do is push it over the hook at the back there and it, it kind of grips there, look. So you can see it's quite grippy. So it's not going to slide right up. And I do have a, a you know, power gum or whatever knot at the back there, just to hold everything in place. So yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, see if we can get a cuttle inside this now. So here we are, Brett zoomed in on the bait there. Look, that's my little cuttlefish. It's, it's only sort of that size. You see, it's not massive. It's probably about, what, four ounce, maybe if that. So all I've done look, already is that big hook there, I've just literally gone in and out. And it's obviously very proud there because you want it proud because that, but Mr. Bass is going to come up and go wallop, yeah? So this is experimental. So we haven't done this before. 
and you can see I could probably get away with two, maybe two pop-ups there. You know, a squid, you've got a bit more leeway at the back and there's a bit more room inside. But anyway, so I've just literally pushed those pop-ups inside. There, and you could put crab in there as well if you wanted. I'm just trying to push that right in as far as I can. There you go, look. And then we've just got to wrap it. So this is the tricky bit. Get it off the newspaper. And these, these little bits are hanging down here. I, if, if I was Congren, I'd take them off, but I mean, this is that's gonna look quite nice, sort of flowing in the tide. So I'll try and keep it back on just to keep that kind of naturalness about it. So yeah, there's a problem that already. It's wanted to go around. So here we go. So we're gonna wrap this up very- Gingerly. Gingerly. Yeah, a bit too gingerly. Okie dokie. Just gather this thing together. Oh, do you know what? They are they are actually peeing me off now, so they're coming off. Right, so let's get back to the, that's better. Right, so now I can start. It doesn't matter where you start and where you finish because it's all gonna be wrapped up. And I want this to be exposed here on top of the head. So that's the ultra loomy bead. And there's another little loomy at the back. It gets a bit tricky the further back you go because you've got less to work with. Oh, this, this elastic's great, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got thin elastic. Right, so I'll go a bit more gentle with elastic. Right, let's uh, start wrapping her up. And it doesn't matter that, that you can see the floats. I mean, that's that doesn't matter at all because it's dark. So you know, Mr. Bass or you know, whoever is not gonna not gonna worry about those floats in there at all. So you just kind of keep going with that. So it's almost falling out of my hand now. Look, I'm just sort of like letting it go. And you can see now that's starting to look quite sexy, yeah? You know, if you if if you wanted to cover that up, yeah. you could cut a bit of squid off the back of that. And just, and just lay it over the back over and the bind top. it on, cover, but, cover the pop-ups up. But you know, no, nothing's gonna see that, you know, it's dark. Yeah. All they're gonna see, all they're gonna see is that silhouetting, because obviously it's gonna be off the bottom, and they're gonna home in on that, you know? So, yeah. And I don't think I really need to wrap this much on the head here, but I'll just put a little bit on there just to keep it all kind of together. And I think that is about it. And that, that one bait is gonna last all night. If I don't get a bite, right? The beauty of these pop-ups is it saves you bait. So if you don't get a bite, that's gonna come back basically like that. Okay, it's gonna be a bit washed out, but in theory, you could bung it out again another time. Do you know what I mean? So it's a nice, it's a, you know, it's a bait saving thing. You know, these baits, all these pop-up rigs save you bait. They save you time, they save you money, and they save you lots of bait, especially in the case of worm. You know, when you're putting the worm pop-up out in the, in the rivers when it's, you know, when you're floundering, when it's crabby and all that. Put a pop-up up, man. They can't, they just can't handle it, you know? And, and crabs can't pole vault. So, I mean, that's nice, isn't it? So yeah, that's on the, uh, so that's the new pulley pop-up. I mean, this hook here could be a little, it could be a little bit further back here, but I reckon I could have got away with two pop-ups there instead of three. But hey, like I said, look, you know, this is an experiment. This is what we do. You know, we kind of push the boundaries a bit, you know, we try and inspire and that's what we do, you know? So we you know we're not experts, but we just, we love what we do and you know, we're very passionate and you know, we know stuff, you know? So I just, I've got, I've just got to tell you about it. So there, so there you go, you know. Yeah, too much coffee as usual, Bass. So there we go. So that's the uh, pulley panel pop-up. Bassman's Bounty Rigs. Check that out, man. And that's going to go out. That's gonna, I'm going to waz that out. You're going to clip him down and show him how we clip him down or no? Well, yes. Yeah, it just goes in there, mate, doesn't it? In the imp clip, you know. And, look, and here I've got the beautiful Competition Match GT tonight. So um, uh, well, yeah. So I'd really like to get a nice bass on that rod because I haven't really christened it properly yet. So yes, that's uh, you know it's been a busy week. I'm quite tired, as you can see, a bit stubbly. But hey, we're out again, man. It's what 45 mile hour winds tonight, and yeah, we're going to catch some bass. Tight lines.